Well, we are just getting this information. A Hamas spokesperson uh, has said that they have decided to release uh, these two hostages uh, that they claim Israel is continuing to not accept. That is a claim that we had first heard uh, from Hamas a few days ago when they said that they had been uh, ready to release more hostages, but that Israel uh, has not been willing to accept them. Now Hamas says that they have agreed to release these two hostages uh, regardless, citing humanitarian uh, reasons. And the two hostages that Hamas says that they have released are named Yocheved Lifshitz uh, and Nurit Yitzchak. According to Israeli media reporting, uh, they are both uh, elderly women, 185, uh, the other 79 from near Oz, uh, which is just a few miles away from the Gaza border uh, in southern Israel. Now, right now, NBC News cannot independently confirm that these two hostages uh, have been released. We have not laid eyes upon them. Uh, it is very unclear, Chris, whether they have actually made it out of the Gaza Strip uh, if they have indeed been released, uh, whether they are going to be going through the same process that was followed during the first release of those two Americans in which Red Cross officials uh, essentially escorted them from Hamas control to the Gaza border, where they were then uh, picked up by Israeli officials. But just in the last few minutes, we have also gotten confirmation uh, from a family representative uh, for Ms. Lipschitz saying that they have now confirmed uh, that she has been uh, released. And so this is obviously a major piece of positive news. It's the second, uh, if confirmed, release of hostages by Hamas since the beginning of this war, but it would still leave uh, approximately 200 people believed to be held in the ho uh, held hostage in the Gaza Strip, and it is unclear at this moment why Hamas would have decided uh, to release these two hostages, Chris. Yeah, it, it's very important for a lot of people to understand that we don't have any idea, right, Josh, about where they're being held. Are they being held together? Um, who are they being being held by. Again, two Americans were released on Friday. Now two more, we believe, to have been released today. What else do we know about the bigger pictures, picture of the hostages who are still being held? Well, we know that about 10 of them that are still in Hamas control uh, are believed to be American citizens, Chris. That was an update uh, we got just within the last few hours from the U.S. government. That's obviously two fewer uh, than had been held a few days ago before those two Americans from uh, the Illinois area had been released. But beyond that, you are right to point out that the assumption is, and Israel, Israeli officials have actually said, uh, that they believe that these hostages are not all in one location where it would be plausible, for example, Example, to have some type of mission go in and get them all out. The assumption is they are spread out through the Gaza Strip strategically, that some of them may not actually be specifically uh, control, under the control of Hamas, but instead by other uh, militant groups. But one thing we do know, according to Israel, is that they do believe that the majority of them uh, are still alive. And that is what is fueling these ongoing uh, intensive diplomatic efforts uh, by the Israelis, by the Americans, including through mediators, both in Qatar and Egypt, to to try to secure additional uh, hostages being released. And we should also point out, this comes uh, as NBC News is now reporting that the U.S. has been urging Israel to hold off on that ground incursion that they have been promising into Gaza. One main reason for that is to increase the prospect that more hostages could get out, because the assumption is once Israel goes in on the ground, that is going to make it far more difficult, if not impossible, uh, for Hamas to release more hostages, Chris.